Uh, Bose frames tempo. Have you heard of these things? How about that image from the Verge? Shout yeah. out. That's a full. That's a full TV. And you know what's a key about this image? Well, what's that? The reflection in the glasses. Hmm. Look where this. Look where she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need to be in a place like that. Yeah, I'm dying for it. That's a nice. Where is it like that right now? You must be on the west coast, uh, on the northwest, or something sure. like that. I don't know where you are right now in this picture, but or maybe it's just a press image. I don't <laughs> take a long time. It doesn't look like it though. Maybe it is. Anyway, it's about to look like that around here pretty shortly, and uh, we're going to take advantage of uh, some of that. Let's talk about these frames, though. What do you, What are your thoughts on this thing where? You know, you got the headphone built into the sunglasses. Um, I don't mind them. You know, it sure beats uh, having another product that's just around. Have two in ones. It's always good. So you would you would consider? Okay, let me let me let, let's <laughs> oh. let me go let me go a step further here. These are two hundred fifty dollars. Right. $250. Okay. Obviously, you can get sunglasses and have bones for $250. You can have you have both of them. Yep. This is a few dollars. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared to put $250 down to have them together and then to really not have something that's as good as headphones and really not have something that's as good as sunglasses? You see, they're neither of right, them are right. as good at the thing. Yeah. But together, you're right. You consolidate. You you only have the one device, and I don't know. I, I it's a conflict for me trying to figure out the premise here. Like I have used some of these products. I even used the uh, the headphones noise conduction, bone conduction, bone conduction. That's right. Yeah, like I combined noise cancellation right, and bone yeah. conduction. Bone conduction headphones. I used the, I believe they were called like shock waves or something like that. Aftershocks? Aftershocks. And anyway, I was amazed what they were capable of doing considering nothing was in my ear. I thought it was cool technology, but I could never get to a point of thinking I want to replace my headphones because I still was missing that like kind of crystal clear audio experience. I mean, you could tell I've been through how many headphones on this show already in this seat already. Yeah. You understand. So maybe I'm a little too particular with it. But but also maybe if I was this, that's not that's a look right there. That's you right there. That's a look right there. That's a <laughs> oh boy. What was that two years ago? Almost exactly. <laughs> Almost two. Oh, just over two years ago. That's funny. Good times. So that was a bone conduction sunglass from that company that we mentioned, Aftershocks. And uh, Bose has gotten into the space. Actually, their product doesn't look all that different. It might look ever so slightly better. A little matte finish on the side. Uh, but anyway, this uh, this review gives you some of the pros and cons. As far as frame-based sound is concerned, they say it's the best they heard. Intuitive controls and Type-C charging. As far as the bad stuff goes, discomfort on large heads. So I'm out right away. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here on that. Bass can't match regular earbuds. Well, I figured that out in the five, six videos I've done on similar products. It's just not a substitute for regular headphones. It would be good for a podcast, right. things like that. And slight sound leakage, which is another thing I experienced with this technology in the past. So uh, anyway, I think it uh, serves a purpose, but I think for the average person, 250, you got to be a real outdoorsy type. Yeah, it seems like a hiker, fisherman. Real outdoorsy type. You want to have the audio book playing as you're out there with the fly fishing? Right. I mean, that actually sounds kind of relaxing because your ears aren't blocked. and For sure, yeah. Just trying to paint a picture for you here, Will. Or, I mean, she's hiking, I guess. Look, she got the straw on the backpack. Oh, yeah, she's definitely hiking. Do you have a straw on a backpack? I don't. <laughs> I don't think I do. I thought you might have been one of the, these guys. I would get one. Maybe this summer. You are one of those guys. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 With the Bose. Uh, yeah, you could be a straw, on a, a straw on a backpack guy. Because you know why? Because you're into the mountain climbing or the rock climbing. Yeah. So you're close already. Yeah. And 
the snowboarding also brings you those two together kind of bring you close to the straw in the backpack guy. <laughs> do you do mountain biking? If you add mountain biking, you're you're there. Yeah, I, that's that's something I don't do. Wonder why that. But is. maybe. Yeah, why maybe. don't you do that though? Seems right up your alley. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're asking I don't know. Question. I don't know. I might pick it up. I'm still. Did I just young. did I just hit a sore spot? <laughs> <laughs> I think eventually we'll see. <laughs> you had a bad crash at one time. You're like, oh, you did. Yeah. Uh, oh, you did. I've never tried mountain bike biking before. What about mountain baking? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> right up there, right in the mountain. All right. Anyway, okay. Yes. 